We are totally in construction, the foundation is dug, concrete is ready to pour, and framing is halfway through. But the client wanted to make some last minute changes in the floor plan to the bathroom layout, which is not a problem and also very common to be honest in the residential projects. In this video, I want to show you how I do this using Mofolio Trace to quickly come up with an alternate plan in 15 minutes and less that can be approved by the client without too much investment on your part. Yes, you heard me right. I am using Mofolio Trace today instead of Procreate. I'm generally a huge advocate for Procreate with all my architectural drawings and sketches. But during construction, there's no better tool than Mofolio Trace to read, annotate, and redline a drawing set. If you are using another app for construction administration, let me know in the comments below. Love to hear what's working for you. So let's talk about this process a little. The existing plan has a shower and toilet separated with their own doors. And the client wanted to see if we can combine it into a three-piece bathroom without compromising the closet and built-in couch. Before sketching, the first thing I wanted to do is to calibrate the drawing. And this is the same concept as calibrating your drawing in Bluebeam. I'm just taking the distance between two points on the plan so my super scale ruler will be set to scale. When the drawing is to scale, I can begin sketching right on top with my super scale ruler to work out this other floor plan options. And consider this process as you would with a physical trace paper and a regular scale. Your first pass may not be the right one, but after small tweaks here and there, you can generally get to a design that you can eventually bring into a CAD software to export for a construction set. I really want to take this time to highlight the power of super scale feature in the app. And for me, I always have my construction PDF set preloaded on Mofolio Trace at the job site. And I'm just flipping through the pages as I go instead of having to print a half size set uh, before the iPad days. This way I can redline and annotate right on screen, which is much easier to write out instead of jogging down notes on a soft roll of paper. And often I am actually sketching out a design change right in front of my clients in real time. While this may not be a super polished sketch, but I can do this very quickly to scale, which is very important because I can have this kind of accuracy to the inches instead of pulling out a small roll of trace paper to overlay that to a physical drawing. So this has been incredibly helpful for construction admin ever since I started to use Mofolio Trace to preview my drawing set. After the first pass of the sketch, where I feel good about dimensions of my rough sketch, I will create another layer to trace out the polished version of it. And this will have nicer line weights, dimensions, and text to send to the client for a quick approval before I bring it into CAD to finalize the change. There's actually a cool option to automatically pochet the wall by giving it a texture instead of manually drawing it out. Oftentimes, if it's a small enough change and it doesn't require me to fully reflect it in CAD or Revit, I would just save it as a JPEG or PDF and include it in my site notes as a snippet. So you can imagine where this can save you a lot of time working on iPad and the accuracy that comes with it is just invaluable. When you're done with the sketch, simply export it out as a PDF, which is saved to scale and you can print that out. As much as I love Procreate, there's definitely a strong use application for Mofolio Trace during the construction phase. So if you're coming from a traditional environment where you are bringing in physical drawing set, trace paper, pens, and pencils, I'd love to hear what you think of this digital workflow. Will this make your design life a little easier? And how likely are you willing to adopt this new tool going forward? 